Okay, so in the video where we installed nodes for week two, I actually ran into an issue where there was a node I knew we needed, but I had no idea how to what the actual node was called in order to install it. Like I searched for it, it's called plep, uh, plep. It's called prep images for clip vision. Um, I googled it. I could not find what node, uh, it w what node was I need to install in order to get it. Uh, and this is quite common. Like you know, the nodes you're looking for aren't always tied to the name of the node or the node manager package, that sort of thing. Um, so there are often issues where you run into where you're trying to figure out like, how do I install this stuff? So um, the easiest way to do this is actually if you have a workflow that already includes that name of that node, say you saved it from someone's YouTube video or you found it on Discord or whatever. Uh, honestly, the easiest way to install the nodes is to use the install missing custom nodes tool within Manager. So I'm going to look at that now um, because in the future, I might be making a workflow on Run Comfy where there's already a node installed. And I send it to people and they're like, well, I don't have that node installed. How do I find it? So let me show you how to do this. So let's say you've got a workflow here. I've got a workflow that we'll actually look at probably in like maybe the, the last couple weeks of class. Um, and when you drag this into your comfy UI, uh, you're going to get a bunch of errors, basically saying that like, hey, none of this stuff is installed. And you'll see here the one I was looking for is this one, prep image for clip vision. Um, it wasn't installed, so um, I need to figure out what node package I need in order to get that. So we'll go ahead and hit close. We'll go to manager and we'll go to install missing custom nodes. So unlike the custom nodes manager we've been playing with before, we're going to go to install missing custom nodes. And what this is going to do is only going to show us the nodes that are missing in order to install or in order to get the workflow that we're using running. Now there's a an issue with this workflow because it uses an old version of IP adapter. So anything it pulls up there is actually going to be, going to be incorrect, but we'll ignore that for now. Um, so what we want to look for here is just you know a couple of these things. Um, the funny thing is I still don't see um, clip the prep image for clip. It might be this one, Surge SDXL. Let's take a look. Um, also, if you click on the title of the name, it will take you to the GitHub package that you need. So this is the GitHub package here. Um, let's see if prep image, prep image. Nope, not that one. I mean, I can install all of these and it's totally fine. Um, but it's just kind of funny that I can't find what this is supposed to be. Maybe it's one of these. Maybe it is one of the IP adapter tools. Let's see. This is going to be so funny if I do not am unable to find out what I'm looking for here. Um, I'm just going to open a couple of these and we'll, we'll do a search here to see if they can, I can find anything in them. This is the joy of uh, Comfy is that trying to find some of this stuff is really hard. Prep image. these are the right ones, but still. All right, I don't think I can actually find this. I'm going to pause the, the video for now, and I'll come back to this uh, and let everyone know what, what tool it actually is, because uh, this is the frustration of, of using Comfy, is you're trying to figure out which one of these is. Maybe you don't want to install all of them. You just want to get the one. Um, what I would generally recommend is you here you can also install each one of these one by one, so you can still go through and install all of them. That will help your workflow run, um, but you know the challenge of finding the exact node you're looking for can sometimes be a challenge. So I'm gonna pause the video. I'll be back and I'll let you know exactly what what node we need um, for this tool to work. Okay, apparently I just did a really poor job of googling this before because I googled it just now, and I came to this web page called comfy.icu, um, and it tells me that this is the comfy node I'm looking for, and then it uh, I must have just missed this earlier, but it shows me the exact GitHub URL for this. So it was, in fact, this Comfy UI IP Adapter Plus. So it's this one right here. Um, but the thing is, and this is where it's always tricky, is I don't actually see anything named this. So it's like hard for me to figure out if this is the right tool. Um, either way, um, we now have the right thing we want to install. So let's go back to Comfy UI. And we want the Comfy UI IP Adapter Plus from Cubic. 
interesting to see why we might have conflicts. I don't think this really matters that much, so we'll go ahead and we'll just install just this node. Okay, and we're done. Um, we've already installed this, so now we just need to hit the restart button and restart our machine. But here you can see that um, using that install missing custom nodes tool is quite helpful. It helps you make sure your workflow is running. But there's still a lot of user experience issues I have with Comfy, uh, this being the main one, which is just like, if I search by the name of a node I know I need, it will not always show me the exact thing I need um, to install. And that can be really frustrating. But we at least got there, um, partly due to my bad Googling and other issues, um, but we did get there. So, you know, this just shows you that there are some challenges to Comfy, but they're generally solvable, um, especially using this, this tool. All right, so uh, I think that's it for this week. Um, or at least our pre-recordings uh, before we start uh, week two of our lessons.